so we are back yet again <laughs> and you just hit something hit my mic see I, I wish the people that listen to the podcast could come to the stream and watch you and all your dancing glory now you're doing like some mata hard stuff or something over there Stock my lungs from off the table. I'm all over the place. You are all over the place. It's so fun. It's yeah. fun, is it not? Hey everybody, welcome to Gene Pulled Variety Hour. This is episode 62. I said that backwards, so this is welcome to episode 62 of the Gene Pulled Variety Hour. My name is Sean. I'm the old guy of the group. I'm the dad, and the guy on the other screen is. Yeah. And yo guys, it's um it's your boy Connor, aka Cool Monster, aka 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 KK. The um the world's whitest dancer. I have I have I have a pr- production <laughs> request. What? How about how about we redo that whole AKKK thing and 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 maybe eliminate that? No, I like it. It's my <laughs> new thing. Okay, whatever. You and all your glory. That's cool. Okay, so yeah, um, um, I mean that that they um um the, the viewers and listeners come for for. My manic, crazy energy. They, they, that they, brings they, the funny. They probably come just to see what you're going to do next. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um. So. Oh. Uh, oh. You. You. you um. D- d- did you reset the timer? I did not reset the timer. I will reset the timer now. There we go. Because. That, that's a good producer. Um. You want a treat? You want a treat? Good producer. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway. Um, we're back for the second week in a row because it's been so crazy in August and September. Woo! So that's cool. And the only reason why, well, we probably would have been doing it tonight anyway if I hadn't hit COVID because I would be coming back from Savannah from work today. Probably would have just yeah, that's true. flew in and done it. But um, yeah, so I'm at the tail end of the COVID thing. Uh, that's good. My 10 days of symptom, 10 days from symptom showing was yesterday. Um, still a little congested. A little lingering cough, but that's about it. Um, I'm going to still kind of keep myself scarce until I can get retested Monday just to confirm that I'm negative before I go back to work. But other than that, it's just been extremely boring quarantining in the bedroom. Um, now, granted, now, I love screens, right? So it's been pretty easy for me. I actually almost took a picture the other day because... I was watching our movie on the TV in the bedroom. Yeah. It was during the day, and so I was technically teleworking. So I had my work computer up. I had the house computer up working on some stuff for your mom for her new business. I had Destiny 2 streaming on my tablet, and I was watching a Twitch stream or something on my phone. And I you got onto had, me for multi-screening with just two things growing up. I blame it on the COVID. I literally had five screens going at once. And I looked at it and I went, okay, this is even a bit overkill for me. This is even overkill I mean, for Connor. So Exactly. Um, I mean it, it was I it mean, was rough. Literally, he um 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 the the most I would ever do is basically have, have Netflix on my phone and and right. playing a game on the Xbox, you right. know. Oh, oh, just for just for some background noise. Yeah. So anyway, it, so it, it, it was you, it was interesting. You you went deep <clears throat> down the Hobbit hole. With ah, that I did. I was doing all kinds of stuff, of course. Um, yeah. So that was interesting. But tomorrow I'm getting out. I I'm I'm, I'm kind of officially unofficially pulling myself out of quarantine I starting want tomorrow. To be free. <laughs> there you go. Good. <laughs> I wish I had that sound clip. Um, I got some stuff to do for your mom, so I'm going to mask up and I run to Home Depot. I'm free. I'm fine, but oh, there you go. What's up, Steve? So What's up, um, Steve, Steve. So anyway, so that's that's Freedom. been my two weeks. Is that bedroom for two weeks? It's been kind of crazy. I don't know how your mom did it because um, because yes, you are Steve. Yeah. <laughs> I don't You're know how your mom Steve. did it because mom Does doesn't he like want a treat. Yes, no, you see, are Steve. See, when every time I see his name, he was Steve. All I can think about is. Alan, 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 Alan. No way, no, no way, no, no way. No. Steve. 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 Steve, 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 Steve. Sorry, 
Uh, anyway, that, still that one of my favorite videos of all time on YouTube. Family for still years. one of my favorite videos. That that deserved a chicken. I just kind of went out of the nowhere. Or, anyway. or an African or, or a swallow. So anyway, so that's been all I've been doing. You know, I was at least kind of productive the last couple of days because I did some online virtual seminar stuff for the last two days. So at least I was kind yeah. of working, working. But uh, but yeah, it's been kind of it's been kind of weird. I've been doing a lot of Discord paid? chatting. Oh yeah, I mean I've been teleworking, so I've been talking to guys and kind of communicating with folks and everything as best I can. Working on some data collection, we've been doing analyzing some data. So I've been doing stuff. I just haven't been seeing people because I'm stuck in that room. Yeah. So anyway, so that's been me. Um, as made, long as we're getting that money, made a lot money, of headway money, on money, Destiny. Money, money, money. Yeah. Made a lot of headway on Destiny too. Um, a lot of headway. I'm um, gonna try and, and um, I'm gonna try and get back in um into that once I get a new TV. Yeah, they uh, yeah they came out um with a new exotic quest for a an exotic trace rifle that basically shoots an ice beam and turns everything into ice. Real quick, yes. Have you gotten the glaive yet? The new glaive they're talking about, dude. That's not until Witch Queen. That's not until the the new package comes out. That's not until the Witch Queen expansion comes out in February, I think. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not that's not part of this oh, season. Well. That's that's the next thing. That's like the yeah, this big, is the big, big DLC, DLC. right? Yeah. So, so that's okay, what I'm I've been doing. Curious. Um, yeah. So I made some headway on Destiny. I watched this movie. I actually watched this movie twice. I had to. Um, as I m- followed it perfectly fine. I did not. So, uh, that's but because, we'll get that's, into that. That's because you, 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 you're high out of your mind, most no, likely. I wasn't taking any medicine at all. It was just a oh, head you cold. Weren't? No, it was just a head cold. And it took to like some Advil cold and sinus at the beginning. If, 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 there was nothing to drug up for. It was a head cold. That's all it felt like. So it was just congested oh. and a little bit of sinus pressure. So every now and then I take some ibuprofen. That was it. So anyway, yeah. enough with the illness. It's kind of... Officially, unofficially, over, gun, moving on. I'm just glad that nobody else that I was hanging out with um, at Dragon Con tested positive. That was the only one that got it. That's nobody good. Nobody else got it. So that, because I, I, I would. What felt, about your moderator? I would have felt. From, did, no, so no, did you get in contact fine. with her? I, yeah, well, it, it's all cool. Um, okay. I would have just felt super bad if some of my friends at Dragon Con had gotten COVID because I got it and didn't know I had it. You know, those yeah. last couple of days of the con. I got gotcha. you. So that felt that made me feel better. So, so what's been going on with you? Um, let's see. Yeah, big thing yesterday was was it was it was Nikki's birthday. Yeah, she turned right. twenty three. Ooh. Oh yeah. Um and two years away from cheap we insurance. Out. Well, no, she's a she's she's female she's a woman, so she has cheaper insurance rates than you do. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. And um and and also we um we we went to this new restaurant it's called Fania's. It's, um, Ooh, it's, um, sounds um, it's fancy. A, it's um it, it, it's a combo Italian restaurant, liquor store, and fine Italian grocery and butcher. Cool. Oh yeah, all get all your that grocery shopping and dinner one out one and the bar all in one spot. Exactly, literally. That's that's efficient. That's efficient oh, yeah. time out. It's like you know, <laughs> I mean, seriously, it is. So that's cool. I mean, um. Um, uh, while, while we were waiting, f- while we were waiting for, for our table, well, um, Nick, um, Nikki bought, bought some biscotti for, for, for her mom. She loves biscotti. Cool. cool. Um, yeah. She just, she described it as, um, as a biscuit stick and, and um, and then in my head. That I sounds don't... wrong. That sounds wrong. <laughs> if you say that wrong, it's going to come out really wrong. I know. Okay. I know. It's just, we're just, just going to go there. It, um, um, it reminds me of a song. If you, I think you might know the song I'm talking about. Probably, but you'd have to remind me. But don't remind me. I'll figure it out later. Okay. Yeah. So, um, 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 we loved the butcher there. They had amazing, amazing prime prime beef, pork, chicken, turkey, he all kinds of, of of nice grade A meats. I was very tempted to buy a steak there. If if the cuts weren't weren't like twenty bucks for for some for something that's the size of my hand. Gene Pool Variety Hour. Come for the nerdy, stay for the meat. That should be our new oh. lo- that should be our new motto. Oh stay yeah, for- <laughs> stay for the meat. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> 
No, no. This is a I, father-son podcast. I, hear, I don't want that bouncing a wow wow music fixed, going. Ma'am. No, no. I hear there's a leak that needs fixed, ma'am. Yeah, you can handle that leak later. <laughs> Off air. <laughs> Not live during the stream. Thank you very much. You're the one that that made the meat joke. Yeah, but these, you, he took the ball and ran with what, it. What? You what went, else would it? You mean went flying in, in down the sideline, man. You you broke what else? You broke containment <laughs> right down the sideline. Uh, but anyway, um, um, <laughs> the um, uh, 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 the restaurant was amazing. You know, it was, um, um, they um they had just opened in like two weeks prior. Yeah. So, just, so everything was still, was still nice and fresh. So they were still they were still kind of working out some kinks, like 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 um they still need need a lot of employees. So, so our food t- took a little longer getting to us. Right. But 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 it was it was still very nice food. It was very good. I'm quality sure it food. was. I'm sure it was. So um, um and um and and then me I I wanted to be a little bit adventurous. So so I ordered myself a rum and coke, my first cocktail. Ah. Uh. And um and and when they brought it to me, um, I'm like I'm like this looks good. Took a sip, my entire throat was on fire because it was straight rum. Um, I um I, I I took a sniff, um and um and, and I couldn't smell any coke. Then the, then I held it up to, to to Nikki's nose, who's basically a bloodhound. She, she, she's like, yeah, well, that's not a very nice straight... thing to say about your fiance. That that she has the sense of smell of a bloodhound. <laughs> Oh, a bloodhound's a dog, man. That's you know. <laughs> she has a very good sense of smell. <laughs> there you um, go. How how else can I describe it? <laughs> anyway, yeah, she's um Shark. she's um she's like yeah. They give you a glass of just straight up Captain Morgan rum, and I'm like also oh, okay, spiced okay. rum on top of it. Okay. All oh right. yeah. Okay. And um and um and and so I got I got a waiter's attention. He um he, he then brought me yeah, a nice tall glass of, of coke and a nice tall glass of ice. I tried mixing them. Yeah, those glasses are not made to be poured from. I made a big mess all over the table. So you just take a gr- a swig of rum, you take a swig of coke, and you throw an ice cube in your mouth. Done. No. <laughs> it's kind of like the people I, that do. I, the, I didn't think of that. That do the shots. They like. Suck the lemon, lick the salt. Shot, and throw. shot, 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 yeah. shot, 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 shot. So anyway, anyway. Hey, um, um, um. <laughs> when I finally got it right, I actually really liked it. So, so, so after dinner, I said, um, sadly the grocery store was closed, but but the liquor store was still open. So, so I bought myself a bottle of Captain Morgan, and um, and then today I got myself some Coke, and I am just now about to finish my very first, um, correct. Rum and Coke, which okay. I find is amazing. Okay, well there you go. So, watching my son b- turn into a lush. Okay, cool. You but turned anyway. a, you turned in, into a lush right for, right from my eyes. I was literally going going really? from, from, from a beer for from a beer once a month to um to um to then drinking a beer straight on the up whiskey and Jack and Cokes two times a week. Two times a week. Just on Friday nights. It's the only time I drink. It's Friday night. Oh, you sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have a drink on Friday nights. The end of the week. So anyway, yeah. Anyway, um, so I'm still, still, still. That was really fun. Um, okay. Um, um, um. Nikki and her family go absolutely bonkers for Italian food. You know. Well, who doesn't? I mean, it's Italian food, man. I mean, yeah. Uh, it's just. Is there something about Pasta, Italian food that is meat? Just, that is just. It's good. Um, everyone in the world can find something they like in Italian food. Everyone in the world. Well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know anybody that doesn't like Italian food. Exactly. I, not a single person. I know people exactly. that don't like Mexican, don't like Chinese, whatever. But I don't know anybody that doesn't like Italian. Exactly. Now, Southern Italian or Northern Italian? Like, like Southern Italian was it like, more like, pasta, like, red like sauce, Rome that kind or Sicily? Um, no, no. Was for, it pasta, Rome was it, or Sicily? Was the restaurant was it more pasta, red sauce, that kind of stuff? Um, um, let's let's see. You know, they they um they the, they had pastas, they had they had steak, they had had a chicken, and um they had had pizza, culinary um, chicken, all kinds here. of stuff. So anyway, uh, you know, so 
Yeah, Northern I would have gotten a like steak if potatoes. The steak was, it's, it, it, it's, it's less, steak wasn't thirty dollars. It's less like pasta and red sauce. It's more anyway. I prefer Southern Italian because I like the the pasta and the red sauce and all that. But anyway, oh, so yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I get that. Wh- how did? Why are we talking? <laughs> oh, I got. I don't know why we're talking about food so much. I got something that because really, I'm hungry. Honestly, that's really bugging I haven't me. Eaten yet. And it just kind of show has showed me how old and I guess introverted I am, because you know one of the things that was talked about at at Dragon Con and all the digital media stuff was you know how to promote yourself and social media and those kind of things and you know and one the big one right now is TikTok everybody's doing TikTok videos and stuff and you you did TikTok you haven't done any in a while I don't think but you did TikTok videos a lot and had a bunch of followers and. Um, and you guys saying you need to get a TikTok. You need to get a TikTok. So I signed up for a TikTok, never used it, and I got. It. I said, okay, well maybe I need to start trying to promote the podcast and stuff on TikTok. And I pulled up the app. I re-downloaded the app. One of the reasons why I got rid of the app was because I heard about all the security violations with it. But supposedly it's better now. But oh yeah. So I downloaded the app and I look at it and I press the plus sign to do a, a video and I'm like, I, I I don't know what to say. You know, I actually started doing one today. I mean, I talked to you. I'm like, how in the world do you flip a video? Because I'm old and I don't like doing videos where the words are in reverse behind me. So I like to flip the video. And I couldn't. It took me like 30 minutes to figure that out. I'm like, I'm way too old for this. And my 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 TikTok How'd you do video. It? My, well, my there's a there's an apparently an effect for for flipping, and you have to tap it before you start the the video. Anyway, oh, okay. it took me forever to Makes figure sense. out. But. I sat there and I started doing it and I never even sent it. I never even put it up there. But I, I literally just said, everybody says to get a TikTok and have a TikTok account and do TikTok videos. Here's my TikTok video. I don't know what to say. I'm old. That you was need, literally you what need it to get said. into lip syncing. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that stuff. I'm, I'm way and, too introverted and self, self-conscious self to do that kind of stuff. Why do, would, you do it with, would you do it with me? Probably not. Why is it you never, why is it, I mean, think about it. You never see me do selfie pictures uh, you never see me take pictures of myself because i just i'd rather be behind it instead of in front of it and except for this this thing on friday nights but it's because you and i are just having a conversation about stuff so yeah you basically know. anyway so i don't know man yeah. i think i'm just too old and crotchety for a tiktok account i'll try oh but... those people get the get the most followers yeah but if they're old and crotchety but they're kind of funny that's one thing because it kind of you're okay, funny Really? How many times do we ha- do this podcast and you tell me how unfunny I am? Because because I'm just busting your balls be- because that's my I... job as your co-host. <laughs> so anyway, so maybe that's maybe that'll uh, be my uh, sh- uh, just because maybe... your, it's your job to bust my balls. Maybe that'll be my shtick, and I'll just do TikTok videos that are completely bland and unfunny, and that will make them funny. You, maybe that's what I'll do. You you could always do do um tutorial videos. I'll do uh, no. how to stream on a budget. I'll 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 uh I'll kind of take the Stephen Wright approach to comedy. You know who Stephen Wright is, right? Never heard of him. Go look up some go look up some YouTube videos of Stephen Wright. He was a com- you know, famous comedian. He he may be dead by now. I'm not sure. I haven't heard from him in several years. Really popular in the 80s and 90s. Um, completely deadpan delivery. And his conversations were like completely serious. Is he serious. kind of like this? Just kind of calm Give and deadpan like, it's like this? It's like, no, it's, it's like, and he's, it kind of gets close up on his mic. He's like, you know, one time uh, I went home. I walked up to my apartment. I put my key in the front door and turned it. And the apartment cranked. So I took it for a spin. And he just, bizarre stuff like that. You know? So just, he was living in a car? No, it's just, you just got to go watch Stephen Wright. Maybe I'll take that approach. I'll, I'll take the Stephen Wright approach to TikTok and just be completely bland right. and boring. Um, and that'll be my thing. So anyway, um, how about we do some something? How about we do one of our podcast things that we're here to do instead of just kind of ramble on that we've been doing for the last 20 minutes? Hey, hey, rambling is content and content is gold and gold is money and money <laughs> equals equals more content. But, and and that's and that's the circle of streaming. But but see, if, but ram, yes, rambling is content and content and all that kind of stuff. Right. But the rambling has to be good content. If the rambling is not good content, you kind of stop. It the is whole process. good content. We're talking about also uh, 
we're t- we're we're talking about Italian food, failed comics, TikTok. How come me 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 being more funny than you? It's gold. Okay. Well, I'm I'm sure I'm sure the people listening think it's gold. It's gold something. Um. Anyway, so let's do let's jump in. Let's do our, our geek question because I got a couple answers to the geek question. Okay. The geek let's question. Do it. All right. We're we'll, uh, make sure I get the right button this time. I want to ask you a bunch of questions, and I want to have them answered immediately. I want to ask you a bunch of questions, and I want them answered immediately. I knew you were going to. I just, I've, I've given up. I've given up the fight. Just cool. Dad, it's just why, why give up? All I'm doing it's gonna is be... just, just trying to perfect heck, my, 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 Aust, my Austin Arnold Schwarzenegger so, impression. So from now on, I'm, when, when, when I play that sound effect, I'm going to close my eyes. And I'm going to listen to it, and then I'm going to listen to you. And when it sounds like an echo, then you're done. Okay. All right, cool. All right. So what's the geek question? What's the geek question of the week this week? Um, what, um, what are your top five dream cosplays to achieve? Five? You, st- yeah. you told me three earlier today and only came up with two. Now i got to come up with three more. Yes. Okay, I'm go ahead. I'm challenging you. Go ahead. I got two, but... I'll have to think. All right. All right. Um, um, first and foremost, I would love to cosplay a classic, classic bouncer big daddy from Bioshock. The um 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 uh, the ones that have the ones that have the uh a big round helmet, you know? Yeah, like the well, like not... the deep like the deep sea diver type helmet thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would love to do that complete heat with an attachment and that would actually make 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 my drill arm rotate and such, you know. Right. I would love that. Cool. And um and and hopefully, if I, if I can convince Nikki, she she make a perfect little sister. Mm. Okay. If she'll come to Dragon Con. Yeah, man. Um, if she ever came came to to, to Dragon Con, if I can wear her down, she'd be a perfect Carla. Now she went. Now look, look. She just went to that con in in DC. That's 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 because uh, that was literally her very first time time visiting her very best friend. Uh, that's fine, but she'll be coming to your stomping grounds with her fiance or husband at some point. Yeah, right. I would think that would hold yeah. a little bit more weight than her best friend. I know. Um, we'll get there eventually. Him, we we need the money first and foremost. Yeah, well, true. I get that. Anyway, hang on. Okay, um, so that's, that's big number daddy. one. All right, big daddy. Number number two is is um, I would love, love, love uh, to cosplay Hades from Hercules. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, I mean, and um, and, and we, we think about it, his. You got to nail the James simple. Woods voice, though. Huh? You got to nail the James Woods voice. I know. Okay. Um, um, and and we think about it, his cosplay is very simple. It's um, it's just very very heavy and dark, and and I'm gonna be sweating my ass off, um, at at um in the middle of summer in in Atlanta, Georgia. Yep, that's true. But but it's gonna be fun, right? Okay. And, um, and and Nikki can cosplay as Megara. Okay. And. And sure, maybe you could be Hercules. I don't no. know. No, no, I would be. I'd be the satyr. <laughs> I'd be. I'd be the short, dumpy satyr. You, 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 you'd have to pose on your knees for photos. You know. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> anyway, we won't don't talk about touch that. that. Don't touch that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm if leaving I can't that one out there. Bi- on I'm leaving that stick, one. No, nope, you, I'm leaving you that can't one. touch on your knees. No, nope, that one's just sitting out there. It's just floating out there in the in, inner interwebs. Nope. Mm-mm. So go ahead. Anyway, number anyway, three. That's moving on. That's, that's two. Three. Um, three. He had this. Um, um, <coughs> this this one you won't know, but but it's Choji Akamichi from from Naruto Shippuden, complete he, with headdress, armor, and um. And his his big beautiful blue chakra wings, when he's in his metaphor his metamorphous state. Okay. Um. Let's see. Number four, I would love love love. This is going to be a short short because this isn't really a debate. This is just a hey. This is my list. 
Okay, cool. Here's no, I know. Oh, um, it's um. Well, well, when you think about it, you know, we um we we're gonna need as much time as we can to to try and unravel the the weird concophony oh, of this movie. Oh my goodness! Yeah, this movie, man. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I would love to cosplay either her, um, Rex or Grunt from Mass Effect. I okay. would love to uh, to, to cosplay. One that of would those be cool. Two. That would be cool. Um and um and and if um if I could uh, um if I can make the N seven armor, you could be my shepherd. Right. And I, I mean, and I've seen big daddies at Dragon Con. I mean, the full yeah. like seven foot big daddies with the rotating arm, the yeah. whole thing. I've seen big daddies at Dragon Con. I don't know that I've ever seen a Rex or a Grunt. I don't um, ever. I don't ever. I don't think I've um, ever seen a Krogan. Um, my very first. Time, I see Turians. My very first time going to um to all these big, big Mass Effect panels, um I um I saw a Krogan. Oh really? And um the um the reason why why pe- um people don't do Krogans that that often is because those um Krogans have have those giant heads. So um and um and um and so you basically need to make make that whole thing separate as basically a helmet. You know? Yeah. Um um if um if play like, a Turian a an Asari or or, or or even a Corian, and um, that's that's basically just adding small things to your head. A Krogan, you you need a full on helmet to attach mm-hmm. to your armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Um, un um un unless you're unless you're a giant dude like me. Yeah. Um. Let's see. And and then that was four, correct? Mm-hmm. All right. Number five. Number five, I would. Oh man, this is something I really want to do, and I've always wanted to do. The drum roll. Is that what you're waiting sorry. on? Sorry, 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 sorry. I had a bit of a brain fart. I think I'm, I, I think the rum is finally getting to me. Ah, uh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to slow down on that. I would love to cosplay as. As Krieg, uh, oh, you'd yeah. have to get you had but, to, you'd have to get in some really yeah, good shape. That for Krieg. one, I'm gonna have to get in some serious shape for that. Yeah, yeah. But still, but still <laughs> think about it. I've got the manic energy to pull off Krieg. Do I not? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I'm just, I'm just in here scrolling through some of my some of my movies and trying to get trigger some thoughts on who I would like to cosplay as because I got two. And I'm drawing a blank on anything else. Of favorite what, um, ones. What um, um, what about someone from 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 Borderlands? I could see you as being Axton. No, maybe Marcus too. Mm-mm, mm-mm. No, I Marcus mean they, they, they. No, I mean this. I mean you, you talk about dream cosplays. There's not. There's not any Hammerlock. You could be Hammerlock. No, I see. You I'm could not pull really... off Hammerlock. I'm not really. Uh, none of those are ones that interest me. I don't know why they just don't. Um, I tend to think more movie characters. So movie characters, okay. Yeah. Um, or I'll, TV or see. whatever. Yeah. So is that it? That's that's your five. Oh yeah, and, oh, and that's uh, that's my five. Uh, so I've only got two right off the top of my head, and okay. one I'm still actively trying to figure out how to do because I like to do it next year i want to do it this year and then it was going to be kind of a weird con and this kind of stuff but i would like to try to do it next year i've got a whole year to put it together it's gonna take some engineering because it's it's a build um i want to be hannibal lecter in the dolly when they're when they're wheeling him out you know with the mask and everything with the mask in the straight jacket but i'm going to be on the dolly by myself I'm not gonna have anybody there pushing me. I want to build. How, my... how are you gonna move it though? Hold on, hold, yeah, that's the engineering part. I, I want to get it built with a motor that I can control from underneath the straight jacket. So I will be Hannibal Lecter in a dolly, kind of tilted back, because it'll have back leg support, and drive myself around the con. Just 
you sitting still in the just sitting still in in the in the in the hand trucks in the dolly and just driving myself around with the mask and the straight jacket and everything. So you can't see my hands because I'm in the straight jacket, but I'm driving the thing. You that's you what I want to do. To, you you won't be able to to to, to go up and down any stairs. Here's no, go elevator. Uphill. Elevator. Okay. Pretty simple. Hey, but but um but what about it going what about going from 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 building to building? The habit trail. I'll probably just stay Oh, oh yeah. I'll just stay I in the habit forgot, trail. I forgot that they connect all all three hotels. They connect the three main hotels. Now they don't connect so the Hyatt, the Hilton, and the Marriott are connected. Now the Sheraton and the Weston are not. Those are separate. That may, and it's pretty hilly, so I don't know if I could go to the other hotels. I'd have to pretty much stay in those three hotels. But like the digital media track is in the Hyatt down in the basement, so I'm that's where I hang out most of the time anyway. The Marriott's where all the big stuff happens. Okay. Can you imagine? Can you imagine me in full on Hannibal Electric cosplay and the and the hand trucks and just wheeling myself through the wheel of through the Walk of Fame by all the, all the celebrities just. <laughs> As Hannibal Lecter, not saying a word. Do you that? So that's my dream cosplay. The, number one, that's my dream cosplay. Um, and a, my goal, because I was talking to dad, some dad, fun, dad, yeah, dad, a, just picture this: you, you rolling up to Julian Anderson, just look at her, <laughs> then <laughs> then roll away. So. Um, just, just imagine her face. So I was just talking. I was just talking to some people today, um, and I ran across like a portable um, wheelchair. It was only eighty five bucks, and it's supposed to be able to go eight miles on a single charge. Oh, so oh, oh, oh! Um, um, replace hey some um, my number five. With Roadhog from from Overwatch. Oh yeah, I kind of figured Road. I'm because kind of surprised Roadhog wasn't we, one of them. Because I mean, you already because, built for that. Um, a, exactly, and um, and then then if you can build a junk rat, perfect partner cosplay. Yeah, I'm not a big junk rat fan though. Uh, sorry, I don't like you, junk rat. You you were in the beginning. No, never was. When nope. the game first came out. Nope, never was. Really? Nope. So, so that would be my number one. Um, because it involves that build, and that would be, that would be the bomb cosplay, right? That would be so yeah. cool, because nobody's ever done anything like that before, that I've ever seen, um, and it's doable. I just got to figure out the engineering p- stuff to do it. So that's my number one. My number two is Daytac Tar from the TV show Defiance. Now, it's not a it's not a major costume, you know. Um, hey, Steve, another Steve, Steven, so we got Steven, 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 C. see, there you go, Steve, 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 so, um, so yeah, so Daytac Tar, now uh, his, his, his normal costume, it's kind of like a gray, almost tweed, long coat, and grayish clothes with a white shirt, so the cosplay wouldn't be that hard, he's completely, you know, because he's an alien, his, his skin is completely white, so I have to do white face paint, I have to get a white, like straight hair wig. The reason why I want to do Daytac Tar is because of the charge blade. I want to build a charge blade. And I found I found three years ago when I was going to do Daytac Tar before they canceled the show, I was going to build it. And I found instructions on how to build a, a charge blade. And you get acrylic and you cut the, the parts of the blade you know, out of acrylic. You build the hilt with... Um, a battery inside, and, like, blue LEDs. And when you turn the blue LED lights on, they they glow through the acrylic and make it look like a charge blade, like it just, you know? Yeah. So so my cosplays tend to revolve around builds, um, and not building the costume, but more like building the the, the accoutrements that go with it. Um, I think it'd be cool to do... I think it'd be cool to do um, Lone Star and Barf with you. You know, that was one of the ones that we'd always talked about doing. Oh, yeah. Um, I kind of like the idea of doing the guys from Dodgeball. I'm a dog. A man and a dog. I'm my own best, best friend. friend. Um, I would kind of like to, it'd be kind of co- cool to do, uh, like, Dodgeball, you know, with the guys from Who Dodgeball. Who would I be in that? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Um, would I be the guy in the wheelchair? I could huck wrenches at you. Yes. Yeah. Dodge a wrench. You can dodge a ball. 
So um, now, now, granted, grant, granted, they be foam wrenches, you know, on like Nerf wrenches yeah, if they make those things. But, but really, still, but still, I, I could drive her. I could ride around the con just hucking wrenches at people. Patches of hula hand. That's right. So I, you know, I don't. Oh man, that'd be hilarious. So if you were in the wheelchair and I would be um, Justin Long's character. Now we'd like to have some people to be, you know, um, Alan Tudyk. Well, Pirate Steve, yeah. It'd be cool if we could have the whole crew. But I would probably be Justin Long's character, so you could just chuck stuff at me, and I could just keep getting hit in the face and getting knocked down and that kind of stuff, yeah. Just so. uh, Justin Long, huh? Um, is, um, um, is, is that the crazy skinny guy who was also a cheerleader? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so anyway. <laughs> you, 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 you would need to get a bowl cut. Oh, God. Wig. Yeah. Can't, can't do a bowl yeah. cut. No. Yeah. So I'm trying to I think. I can picture you in a bowl cut. I'm trying to think of anything else that I'd really like to do. Um, and um, anyone um, from I, Destiny? I, huh? No. Anyone from Destiny? No. I mean, that, that's you cool. You wouldn't want to be a guardian? I mean, it's cool, but it's like, I don't know. I, again, I tend to lean more towards movies and, and TV. So I think it would be really cool to be Doc Holliday. From Tombstone, oh yeah, that would be cool. That would be a cool one to do. Oh, that would oh. be a cool one to do. Just because I you love really that character could... and I love Val Kilmer in that character, so a really good partner costly we could do is um is is classic Penguin, Gotham Penguin. Mm. Think about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Although, oh. yeah, I guess so. Oh, fun fact! Fun fact. Did you that know... always deserves a chicken. Fun fact: the, um, um, ha, um, have you ever seen Danny DeVito play Penguin? Yeah, I saw Danny DeVito okay. play the Penguin in the movies before you were born. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Dur. You know, um. Um. You. You know that scene when um when 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 he's eating that fish. When he's he eating the fish. The and... Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That's a real fish. I know. Okay. He, he was eating an an actual real raw fish right off the bone. Um. So that's just, to, that's commitment right there. I'm trying to think of some other things, that's, man. Cause you're but you're much better at throwing out ideas that I sit there and I cause cause what do I always say? I'm terrible at recall. I'm great at recognition. So if you throw an idea yeah. out there, I'll go, oh yeah 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 that. But I can't come off with stuff off the top of my head. Let's see. Um. Let's see. Is um. Is there anyone from you can be my costume Disney, maybe? From where? Disney, maybe? Anyone from, from, from Disney? DreamWorks? No, I'm not a big Disney guy. Uh, and def- I definitely don't want to do, like, superhero stuff. I like to do stuff that's a little bit more obscure <laughs> that not many people do. You know, because yeah. that's that's kind of the approach that people take. People either will do a cosplay that everybody recognizes, or, and so they get lots of big, oh, yeah, Deadpool or whatever, right? Or they do the whole something really kind of obscure that not many people get, but when the people that do get it, get it, they really get it and freak out over it. Mm-hmm. I like those. Those are my favorite. You know, Kind of like when we do Cheers. Yeah, because I don't think I've ever seen anybody do Norman Cliff. Yeah. Norman Cliff. Yeah. So, um, I don't think I've if, seen um, anybody ever do if, Norman um, Cliff. If, if, if I could get Nikki to, to be Carla... I'm gonna wear her down. It um it would be the perfect. I don't think trendy. I don't think you'll ever get Nikki to do Carla. I'm sorry, I don't think you'll get. I that I, I don't know. I've got I've gotten her to to I've gotten her to do a lot of things. I I think I can get her to do this. Let's start with just getting her down here for Dragon Con. Let's start yeah. with that. Okay. Um, she's 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 already gonna come for Christmas. Did she did did she cosplay at the con in in DC? Yeah. She, okay. Yeah, um, um she um she and Kat cosplayed as. As Sora and Riku from from Kingdom Hearts. Okay, all right, cool. Um, so I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm really just kind of drawing a blank, man. And um, um, anyone from Monty Python? No, no, because um, a lot of people do Monty Python. You see, people do the whole yeah. the whole Monty Python bit. You know, Who, um, Holy Grail. Well, and um, what's what's one thing from Monty Python we never see? He yeah, um at um at the con. The Swamp King and his son. 
Oh, think yeah. about it. Yeah. Think true. about it. I could be the Swamp King. I'm I'm built like him. Yeah. And, uh, and, then, and then the entire day, they, you, um, you, you, you could almost go in, um, in a song and then I'll be like, no, stop that. Stop that. <laughs> that you're not, you're not doing that on my watch. But I just want to sing. Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> um, That'd be good. I'm trying to think. Uh, hey, we Are could we could Gotham? we could go we could go as uh, Dale and um, and Tucker. Dale, no, 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 no. Oh, we could do Dale and Tucker. Um, uh, but no, Dale and oh god, what were their names? Chip. No, John Candy and Steve Martin from Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. We could do that. I don't think I've seen that movie. What? I don't. Think I I've seen failed that movie. as a father. What, what, what were you doing? I just had my hands between two pillows. Those weren't pillows! <laughs> How can you not have seen... There's so many quotable lines from that movie. Because because I don't think you ever watched it at the house. I've got it on my Plex server, man. We watched it a bunch of times. So Anyway... Hey, um, um, so um, yeah, so I'm, I'm is, trying to think of anything is else. There anyone from, is there anyone from, from Gotham or Arrow you would want to be? No, no. And I'm not into the whole superhero cosplay thing. What, hey, Steven, what about you? When, why don't you cosplay at Dragon Con one year? What would you do if you're still in yeah, here? Yeah, man. Um, Steve, um, Steve or Steve. Steve or Steven. Well, Steve or Steven. They may have just popped in to say hey. Because that's, yeah, that's, the, that's what I said on the yeah, notification. Hey, because, come in and say hey. So, because, um, and yeah, another gone up bet. Anyway. Yeah, so huh. I, 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 I can't really think of anything else. Um. Uh, the butler from Clue, Tim Tim, uh, Tim Curry's butler from Clue would have been funny, but not many Tim people Curry. would have gotten that. I've I've heard that's a good movie. It's hilarious. I love that movie. It's one of my. It, I mean, I just I, it's one of the movies that if hey, you Dad. it's on, that I'll see it. What? Dad. Okay. Think about it. Monkey's brain. Mash. Dough. Think about it. Mash. Judge. Ch- Charles Emerson Winchester the third, Hawkeye. Yeah, we could. But anyway, so yeah, I I'm, have to think. I'm giving I didn't you know, gold here. I didn't know that I. would Yeah, I know. But you're talking about dream things, and they're not grabbing me, so they're not. I mean, right now, the only one that's really on my plate is Hannibal, Hannibal Lecter. That's that's the one I'm working on. If I only do one, if you come next year, we'll do our normal if we want to. But one day I'm gonna be Hannibal Lecter running around all day. Um, that that'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, Dad. Yes. One one thing one thing you would need to build on that thing is a quick release, just in case hey, some just just in case something does happen and you fall over. You I know? wouldn't be strapped into the thing. I'd be just laying on it. So if it started to tilt, I'd just step right off. It's not like I'm strapped on the thing. But, but then, but, but then, but then, then there's no illusion, you know? Yeah, I, it, it yes, it, it, it's, it's fine. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to strap myself on the thing. That would be kind of stupid. Wimp. Whatever, dude. Okay. Um, so that's, look, man, that's, that's all I got. That's, that, I mean, I came up with those two. Um, I tried to ram some, ram out some more, but I couldn't think of any more. Um, Sorry. <laughs> I I, th- I thought that you were going to I thought we were going to go with three and I'm like okay I'll be short one then you all of a sudden you say five so I did what I could that's but be, that's because but I thought of, if, I thought of if, several if, more during if um, I during pull the day. if I pull off Hannibal next year that's going to be the bomb that's going to yes, be the bomb. I'm looking forward to that one so and I might just do that one the whole although weekend. dad dad personally yeah you know, um if you can pull it off I would save it until after. All, all, all this COVID stuff and um and cons are back up back up to full strength, you know. Well, hopefully, be back up to full strength next year. Yeah, 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 but still, you know. Yeah. So, so um, that's yeah. that's that's just what I would do. Yeah. Okay. All right. I I have a quick question though. Yes. Quick question. Quick quick how, answer. How does the quote on your board back there connect to our movie? It doesn't. It does. Our my quotes don't always connect to the movie. I just oh, okay. I was trying to think of one today and that that came in my head. So, 
I had some other ones, but they wouldn't fit. So <laughs> I barely got that one to fit on there. I had to squeeze the letters together to get it to fit. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, okay, so how about how, let's 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 talk about this. I this... could barely get it to fit. Ooh, your your mic sounded funny there. Um, okay, that's so they, that's because they did a high pitched voice, I guess. Um, let's try to talk about this movie. How about it? Okay, let's do so it. So let's jump into the next ep- the next installment of Roll for Credits. You okay, Dad? No, I'm just kind of, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to say about this movie. I liked it, but I don't know what to say about it. So I'm having a hard time. Okay, so uh, for you guys that don't know, uh, we watched this movie that's right there. Okay, Avani um, Sharmanian. It's per, it's Avane Shremana Rihanna. That that's what I said. Avane Shremana Rihanna. That whatever that. So it's um it's a, a it's a Bollywood movie. It's a movie from India. Um, it was done in 2019. It stars uh, really? Rakshi Shetty, uh, who plays Rihanna, uh, Narayana, uh, and Shanvi Srivastava. Shriv- who played Lakshmi, who is the female interest, you know, love interest in the, in the movie. Um, and it's a three-hour action mystery rom-com Bollywood movie. Set, um, says it's set in some version of, um, of, of the Indian Old West. Kinda, yeah. Starting at a bar called Cowboy Krishna's. That's how the movie started. It starts at a bar called Cowboy Krishna's. Really? And literally, he um, there's 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 this gang there's of cowboys. cowboy mercenaries in there. Yeah, there's cowboy mercenaries in the bar. So, okay, the movie was three hours long, and I'm like, how in the world can this movie be three hours long? How? And then I watched the movie. Let me ask you something. Yes. Let me ask you something. How um, how can Fiddler on the Roof be three hours long? Yeah, true, but I guess so. But it 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 was more. I think it was more of this a, movie. Literally had an intermission, right? It was that long? Right? It had it literally had an intermission. Um, but I real after watching the movie, I realized why it was three hours because it took three hours just to tell the plot. Because the plot it was a kept, good plot. The plot it, kept it shifting. Plot. It's like no, okay, it didn't. Well, okay, it didn't shift. It kept adding. It's like, okay, okay, we're working on this storyline. Oh, now there's another layer to the storyline. Oh, okay, we're working on that. Oh, now there's another layer to the storyline. It's work called world building, Dad. Wow. Okay, but you world build <laughs> over the course of a few movies. You don't try to do the whole thing in one. So I'm going I'm <coughs> so to try to see if I summarize this pretty well. I'm going to try to summarize this. As, anyway, so here's, here's the point of the movie. The point of the movie is... There is a hidden tre- there's a treasure. It gets stolen by a group of actors, an acting troupe. Uh, a band of the Ab- Abaras or Abiras, the, this this gang of, of, of people. Abirabas. Yeah, those guys. They want the loot, but the loot's been hidden, and the acting troupe gets killed, and the whole movie is the two half brothers of this gang trying to find the treasure. This crooked cop trying to find the treasure. Jiri Rama and Jiri Rama um, and and took and took Rama. Yeah, those guys. Um, and then um, then there's like a prophecy thing with the acting troupe that still exists, and it involves this crooked cop. Um, and and he's he is not crooked. Well, he starts out kind of crooked, and he gets better. Anyway, so let me see if I get this right. Okay, I'm gonna try to I'm trying to run this down as quick as I can. Okay, um, so an acting troop steals the treasure. The Abiris gang wants it. They kill the troop, but the treasure is missing. Rama Rama, who was the original leader of 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 the Abiris, um, vows that the act that that vows that no one will rule the Abiris gang until the loot is found. Um, and then he dies because his son kills him. Or, or, or kind of incur. He was sick before. Yeah, but it doesn't help him. He just kind of lets yeah. him die. Um, but he vows not to take the, the throne, like his father said, until the, the treasure is found. This crooked cop gets in trouble with the Beerus for interfering with the treasure hunt. He vows to help find the treasure, or they'll kill him in four days. 
Turns out that the acting troupe never left the town and have been living in secret town and secret in the town and vowed never to leave until they can complete the play that they had started 15 years ago. Then there's prophecies. All of a sudden, there's prophecies that involve somebody called Srihara, and they think that Narayana, the cop, is him. Right? Am I right so far? The location of the treasure yeah. cannot be found until the play is completed and the prophecy is completed. Um, turns out that Lakshmi, who's the woman who is the like a newspaper reporter at the beginning of the movie, is part of the troop as well, but she's a part of the troop that doesn't believe in the prophecy. But the second part of the prophecy is that she and Srihara fall in love. So then it becomes a rom-com kind of thing. Then Narayana, the cop, lies and pretty much tricks everybody throughout the movie to meet his own selfish goals. Um, including the brother, the half brother, the acting troupe, both sides. Um, but in the end, he's extremely smart and talented and figures everything out. He has a change of heart and saves the town and the acting troupe, kills off the Ibarra's gang and leaders, destroys their fort, and allows the treasure to go. This fulfills him giving up his selfish side and siding with the good side of himself. Does that sound about sum up the movie? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, that works. It. Every, every time, I mean, you're watching the movie for like 30 minutes and they add another layer to the plot. And then they add another layer of the plot. And I'm like, how many layers of this plot? They kept adding it, you know? And, oh, and by the way, they're singing and dancing all through it. <laughs> because it's a Bollywood movie. This movie is like onions. It's got layers. Come on. It's like Parfait. Everybody loves Parfait. And, um, and, and everybody Parfait's loves got layers. Bollywood. And so, everybody loves Bollywood. No, that's true. That's true. So, so it was a long movie. Now... What um, I loved was the dancing, especially especially in um in that first number in the bar. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I, it's like what kind of dance moves were those? Yeah, they're they're, um, they're like yeah. humping the gun. Well, it's kind of weird, but so I loved the movie. Oh, yeah, I so really I. enjoyed I would, the movie. It just kind of made I would me happy to watch. watch it again. I would definitely watch it again. Well, I did watch it again. I watched it twice. And here's why that's, that's because you um you you have a hard time reading subtitles. Because look, I don't know how they could have made this movie any more succinct because of the way they did the plot. It just kept spreading out and spreading out and kept adding layers. So they But I I love the movie. I, I thought it was I thought it was colorful, I thought it was musical, I thought it was funny. Um a lot the action was fun, the dancing was great, the music was great, the singing was great, even though I didn't understand a word they were singing. Um X um X except when they said said the random bouts of English, yeah, and that was that was one of the weird. <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that was one of the weird things about the movie, is it's completely done in I think the language when I looked up I think it's Kannada, or yeah. it, it's spelled K A K A N N A D A. I don't know how it's pronounced, but I guess it's a dialect, an Indian dialect. The whole movie's yeah. done in that. But whenever they had to say like an exclamation, like a one or two word exclamation, or they wanted to emphasize something at the beginning of a sentence or a phrase, they said it in English, and then rolled immediately words. into um, the other um, language. Um, as um, there um, there were also times 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 that I caught, caught that they were just talking in general, well, then just in then just in the middle of the sentence it'd be English. Which I'm like, yeah. Like for like 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 for example in um in the very in, in the beginning of the movie you know, when Lakshmi is, is first doing the whole whole um interview thing you know she's she, she's talking about she's talking about the treasure hunter um and, and she's like yada 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 um in her language yada 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 treasure hunter and I'm like wait what and then just yeah. continues on going right so um, so then, frequently through most of the dialogue in the movie English was uh, was thrown there, in there bits and pieces exactly um in um in and then sometimes, sometimes there were full um there, uh, there was full English phrases and sentences. And so I don't know if that and that was, that was something that would be interesting to know for somebody that's maybe more of a a, a movie buff and maybe person. knows more about Bollywood movies. If that's a cultural thing, where that's just kind of what they do in the Indian culture, well, because the, they speak English over there. Oh, yeah. So I wonder. I, I'm just wondering if they. If that's just kind of what they do culturally, that they'll just throw English into the middle of the sentences, something like that, or if it was just something that the director really wanted to do, I don't know, to kind of offset certain phrases. I don't know. It was kind of weird because you're sitting there trying to struggle through the subtitles, and all of a sudden they say something in English, and then you jump right back into the subtitles. Yeah. So that was tough. Funny fellow. Funny fellow. Um, well, that was that. That was one of the cops. Cops. Um. 
um, common, common um, reoccurring phrases. Funny yeah. fellow. Funny fellow. So, so, so tell me more about what you liked about the movie. Well, well, for one, I loved the music and the dancing. Mm-hmm. I loved that. It's just there's something. Okay, okay. For some reason, with me, um, um African tribal music, Polynesian, hen um music, um, um Bollywood music, and um, and and then also, uh, dang, what was it? What was it? what was it? Anyway, you know, those those main three, you know, they they just give me up and moving. I don't know what it is. They just do. Yeah. Every single time I, I hear it, I just I gotta move my hips. Right. Right. Well, you know, I, yeah, I'm a Shakira. I mean, I mean, I love. I mean, look, what I've seen of and I haven't seen many Bollywood movies, but what I've seen is just the dancing and the song numbers are just fun to watch. And they're I, colorful, they're vibrant, they're the, unique. Oh Every my goodness! One of them the one, is, um, no two are no two are the same in any movie. Well, you know, and they did they did three big numbers in this movie. Oh yeah, and they were all very different. You oh, know, yeah. The first the first one was that funny, funky, you know, dance thing they're doing in the bar with the really funky moves with the guns. Up, yeah. So, uh, so that one, so that was kind of, that was a fun song. And then the one with the acting troupe and the full moon in the woods was almost a, a a pensive, sad, but excited kind of looking forward kind of song. It was I a very different style. I don't know why. I don't know why, but but that scene reminds me of basically a happy, upbeat version of a, of a, of a Midsummer's Night Dream. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Um, and, and then the third number in the town was just a joyous number. It was just fun and joyful. So it was three different styles. They were all great. The dancing was great. There's like a hundred people dancing in unison together. It was really cool. Um and that one in town, the one in the bar was my favorite just because I like the sound of that oh, yeah. song. Oh yeah. But the one in town to me was the most beautiful all of all of them because it starts with I all agree. the flowers and everything kind of just can almost like confetti. it's all the colors, and then you know? and then they're throwing the colors in the air, and that's a cultural thing. That's a, that's a thing because yeah, um, a friend of mine, it's a ahead. festival. Yeah, a well, friend of mine is from India uh, originally, and um, and she and her, her husband, who you know works at the squadron, yeah. um, or worked at the squadron, he's gone, he's moved on to somewhere else, but um, they'd gone back. Um, for like a month, her and her daughter had gone back for like a month to visit family, and she had. I saw pictures on her social media where they're completely covered in colors because of that kind of yeah. stuff. So it was really cool to see that. So yeah, I, I love the the dancing and singing numbers, even though I didn't understand them at all. Um, I I read the words the first time. I just watched it the second time. So I'll I'll talk more about that later. So so what else did what else did you like about the movie? Um um I. I loved oh, Narayane. I loved that dude because oh the cop, because, yeah the cop Narana for Narayana. Some, yeah right 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 yeah okay for so, uh, okay okay this, this is gonna sound weird but for some reason I think I know he, where you're going. He, what? Well, let's he see. basically he um he basically reminded me of of an Indian Sherlock Holmes. Okay. Right. I mean, I saw somebody um, com- I saw somebody else mention Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, that he's a I combination mean, that that they mentioned, and I completely agree with this. That he was a combination of Sherlock Holmes and another person. And I'll talk about that's the one that I caught, and I'll talk about that one in a minute. <clears throat> Tony Stark? No, go ahead. Okay, it's um, uh, I mean, it's it's just, just he, he has all this knowledge and and he has all these skills that he just. Whips out n- normally because he just has them, you know. Well, mm-hmm. oh, just mm-hmm. uh, just with Sherlock Holmes, he um he also ju- just has all this knowledge and all this know how just in him, and he just does it, you know. Yeah, that's what's yeah. crazy about it, right? But, I mean, I mean, you know, um, that scene in the bar or um um to, um the, the free beer shot, you know. Hmm. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, it's just casually, you know, um, sp- split second, pulls out the gun. Fires it from all the way across the bar, and hits it. You know, is um, and then he just turned around and walked away. It's like, yeah. how do you do that so casually and, yeah. and not and not also be a good cop? Yeah, you know, yeah. because because it's kind of this weird combination of 
of throughout the movie um he um he's got this odd combination of of extremely competent skilled and um and and able mix um mixed with toady kiss um kiss buttery and and trying to save his own skin Mm -hmm. it's it's okay it's a weird combination but he makes it work so Here's okay. Well, and that beard. You want me? I, I know he's got I a great. He has a great beard. Um. So do you want me to talk about what I didn't like or what I struggled with in the movie first, and then talk about what I liked, or what do you want to do? Um. First, first tell him. First tell me about um ab- uh, about that other character. You, okay. Um. He's he was kind of based on. I want to hear that. <clears throat> this movie. Sherlock Holmes and, and who else? This movie, in a lot of ways, was like an Indian action western version of Pirates of the Caribbean, and he was Captain Jack Sparrow. Nailed it, Captain I Jack Sparrow. I can see that. He was, I can see that. He he schmoozed and tricked everybody. He sweet talked his way through everything. He was completely selfish, but always ended up kind of doing the right thing. And when it came down to it, he knew exactly what was going on and 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 got through everything. So it was exactly. I mean, even his mannerisms. You know, when he was talking, some of his mannerisms were very Captain Jack Sparrowish. You know. Um, I, I think, I think his character was a great combination of Sherlock Holmes and Captain Jack Sparrow. Absolutely, I think. Think about it. I mean, think about the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. He acts like this bumbling idiot, drunk all the time, but he always gets things right. He always gets through things. He talks people into anything, right? Yeah. Even his enemies, he talks into doing what he wants them to do. It's freaking and kind of always ends up there. So, so that's who I saw him. That's that's what I clearly saw was 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 Jack. Um, I and can I thought, see that. I, I, I thought he kind of nailed it too. And I thought the movie had a very Pirates of the Caribbean ish kind of feel, plot wise. The only except for the, except the only for the, thing he needed it it was a little bit of this. It's just, it's just well, he kind of had some of those mannerisms. If you think about it, he had some yeah, of those mannerisms. Right. Thank you. So, um, so yeah, so that's, I really like that. And I thought he kind of nailed it. Now, I don't know if he, if that was purposeful, if that was kind of what he was going for, but it definitely played into that kind of personality because yeah. he was super smart, but he seemed, people thought he was dumb and completely selfish, but he was on top of everything. Right. Yeah. So I, I like that about him. And I really thought that he played that character really well. Um, and I've did. already kind of talked about. Uh, oh, we're out of time already. Um, I'm not going to play the big nuclear sound effect because it's super annoying. I'm going to what find you a need one. to do is get a rooster call. How about that? I want to find a much better one than that, but maybe a rooster call. Uh, but I'll just play the chicken while we're at it. So anyway, <clears throat> so you know, I like the music. The storyline was interesting. I mean, I thought it was kind of interesting. I thought they played it really well. I thought the, I thought the acting was really good. Um, I kind of like the bandmaster, um, he, but this, he just kind of went crazy. But at the same time, there was something about the bandmaster that really made my eye twitch really horribly, and I'll get to that. That's one of my quirks. In the way, the um um uh, the way um uh, the way he played his trumpet and just, and just just and sometimes it didn't match up, so 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 they basically dubbed it in. Okay, well, first of all, it never matched up, <laughs> ever. I know, ever. But that's another issue. So. So so I'll just go ahead and talk about the bandmaster. Okay, so he play, yeah, he was ahead. a trumpet player, right? Um, and every time he was, played, he was basically a, he, um he um he was basically a hostage yeah. from um from from, from when the, the first king 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 of um of of the Adirabas killed the original six members of the troop. So so basically, whenever he played, he never really you never really heard him except for one scene in the movie really played a song. He just yeah. played almost like this herald, kind of really loud, high pitched, you know, high register, you know. I mean, Rama, um, and then he, he says, would say Rama um, Rama, Rama whatever it was he said. Yeah. But to play what his what the music was, he had to be moving his fingers to play multiple notes. Yeah. Frequently, his fingers never moved. Yeah, I know. And that I'm too. like. Your embouchure is not that good that you can play 16 different notes just by moving your lips. 
Sorry, I'm not, I'm not you're not that ask good. What that is? I'm not gonna. Embouchure is. is your your the way you shape your lips to to play the notes in a brass instrument or well, any instrument, any wind instrument. You know, if you like for trumpet, tighter makes a higher pitch noise. You know, you can open it up. It's anyway, it's it's a music thing. So so that bothered me. You know, they didn't. They, he really didn't even try to. Yeah. You know, um. So, but. The other thing, go back and watch the opening scene in the desert with the truck. Yeah. You know, where they're all lined up at the very beginning. Yeah. Right at the end, when he starts playing again at the end, you know, a trumpet has three valves, right? Yeah. Okay. And each valve is screwed into like a valve casing. So it's like a tube. It's like a tube with, uh, I'm not going to do that, with a valve that goes down into the tube and you screw the yeah. valve down into the tube, right? Yeah. There was only two valves. One valve was completely missing and not even in the thing. It's like hmm. there was three cylinders for three valves, but only two valves. I'm like, okay, that horn would not even play because you're losing your, your seal on your airflow by having that valve out. <coughs> so as a trumpet player for 20-something years, all I could sit there and do was go, ooh, <laughs> it made my eye twitch. I couldn't take it. So that that was just a they. Quote. They couldn't keep everything right. I don't. They spent all their money on um on 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 that one eagle scene. Right, but why why have a valve missing in just one scene? I could get it if it was like a like a running like the beating the cat against the tree and Monty Python kind of a recurring bit. Kind Bam! Of thing. Bam! <laughs> but it was just the one scene. It's like someone went, oh, there's a valve missing. Maybe we should put that back in the trumpet. So yeah, that's probably what happened. So you know, so that that bothered me. Um, the other quirk was the whole English, you know, Canada or Canada language, you know. But the thing that made it hard for me to enjoy the movie was because of the foreign language with the subtitles. Okay. I don't do well with foreign language with subtitles. I just I don't. I mean, some of them are okay. You're um you you're okay with Korean movies. I I mean, I still struggle with them. Okay, because I have trouble. I'm not like you, where I can watch the subtitles and the movie at the same time. I have a hard time with that. So that's because I didn't grow up watching anime. Right, I know. So I end up having to either watch the movie or read the subtitles. And so, a lot of times, frequently, I'm doing this because I'm trying to get both in at the same time. Well, as you commented watching the, while you were watching the movie, they speak so quickly. In a lot of movies, when they speak, the subtitles move fairly slow. So, you can still read the subtitles pretty quickly and get the gist of the scene. Yeah. In this movie, they speak so, that 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 language that, that they um, use that dialect that is dialect, so fast they speak so fast that the subtitles Even, were moving so fast that i couldn't keep up with the subtitles and see any of the movie so after about 20 minutes of watching it the first time i said okay i'm gonna have to i, I resigned myself to watching the movie twice and so for the rest of the first viewing of the movie all i did was listen to kind of listen to the action and i just read subtitles for three hours that's all I did to understand what was going on, to understand the story. And then yeah. when I finished watching it last night and today, I didn't pay attention to see it, the subtitles at all because now I had the storyline plot in my yeah. head. I yeah. kind of got it. And then I just watched the scenes to watch everything. Um, okay. To me, that takes away from the, the enjoyment of the movie because it divides your attention. And especially for this movie, it was super divided because the subtitles and the language went so fast. I guess so that. So that made I it do. hard that made it hard for me to really enjoy the movie. It became work, especially the first time through. Yeah. Um and I typically don't watch movies to work. I like to enjoy them and relax and this kind of thing. Um I understand. The other thing that made it <coughs> made it hard for me was this was based in another culture, and it 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 played into a lot of their cultural things. And I don't know how much of the stuff that they talked about and sang about was based on Hinduism, 
or based on Indian folklore and myth or whatever. But there's a lot of stuff that they talked about, a lot of names and gods and deities and all this kind of stuff that I didn't have any understanding of because I don't understand, I don't know anything about the Hindu religion or Indian myth and, and lore. So it was hard for me to... So I know a bit. A lot, maybe I can help. So a lot... Well, no, I mean, I don't even know what questions to ask. So a lot of times they were talking about people or things, and I'm like, I got no clue what's going on. So I didn't really understand it, right? So it's it's not like... It's not like um, when we watched that movie, you know, Beyond Shri Two Hadi, Gods. Huh? He is basically their Jesus. Yeah. When 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 they were... Um, we watched that Korean so. movie. Uh, uh, I think Beyond, so. I'm not sure. Beyond Two Gods or whatever it was, you know, about the... yeah. That was more just a fantasy action kind of movie, so it was yeah. So yeah. you could None kind of, of spin believe, right? So you could just kind of watch the movie and kind of follow the storyline. But this, they were playing into cultural, I think, religious things that I didn't understand. So um, mm-hmm. that made some of the some of the scenes and some of the things going on confusing to me. So I understand. So, but apart from that, I thought the movie the movie was fun. Um, oh yeah. If you're good at watching movies with subtitles, if you're one of those kind of people that like that watches a lot of foreign films, and so you're used to you have have developed that skill set of watching subtitles and watching the movie at the same time, I highly encourage you watching this movie. Um, it was fun. Um, I would suggest maybe doing the Kill Bill approach and watching it in two settings, making it like two movies, because there is literally an intermission at the in 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 the middle. Um, the last movie that I can remember watching that actually had an intermission. Like that, I think was Reds Fiddle. about the Russian, the Soviet Revolution, the Bolshevik Revolution in 1917. Um, last, la, la, um, the last one with I remember seeing, seeing, and, seeing um, that had that. That um, actually, actually, doesn't, um, it doesn't Monty Python have have an intermission? Oh, but that's just funny because it's only like an hour and a half oh, okay. movie. It's just it's just okay. them being stupid. Hey, then then it's not then it's only, not an intermission because there needed to be one. Then then the only. Only other movie I I know of that has an actual intermission is Fiddler on the Roof. And see, now I don't remember there being an intermission, but I guess, but you're right. I I just had forgotten about that. Yeah, um, that one. I gotta watch that movie again. I've been wanting to watch it lately, and we got it on the Plex server. Hey, so whatever. Um, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I have to say about this movie. Um, I really liked it. I thought it was fun to watch. Um, I would re- if you like. Very you beautifully any, made. I loved the cinematography. If you in any way like musical kind of movies that are kind of funny and kind of lighthearted, and I would definitely recommend you watch this movie. It's gonna it's it's a time commitment because it's three hours. Now there is an intermission in the in the middle, so you can sit there and go, okay, I'll watch the first half, and then I'll watch the second half another day. Um, but I thought it was pretty fun. Um, I thought that. Nariana's that character was a great character. Um, if oh, yeah. you like Captain Jack Sparrow from the Pirates of the Caribbean, movie, Caribbean movies, you'll love Nariana. For some reason, and I'm, um, I, I I see him as, as a combination of of Robert Downey Downey Jr.'s, there's I'm sure Sherlock Holmes, and a common and and then Robert Downey Jr. Johnny Tony Stark, <laughs> and then and. And then now this is mentioned it hit him. Johnny Depp's Jack Sparrow. Mm-hmm. I, I I see the combination of those two characters. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, there you go. So. I will do that. You do that. I will. You I do, will go full you, on belly dancing. You go do that, okay? And get Nikki to throw colored paint all over you or whatever, or color powder all over you. You do that. Okay, and that, I'll be the old, I'll be the old not, fuddy daddy, introverted as, as dad that, that, that can't even imagine doing that. Um, but I will promote that's that. Be- tic- I will promote that's that. That's because TikTok. you don't have the creativity, Dad. I don't have the creativity, and I don't have the personality. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. So, I have shame. Some, uh, you have no shame. I have shame. So, <laughs> so it's hard shame, for me to shame. Shame so, on you. <laughs> So, so anyway, so you should YouTube. definitely do that. Maybe, maybe I'll play some Bollywood music and just kind of look boring, and and that'll be my version of, of Bollywood. You do your own Bollywood. You do your Bollywood, and I'll do mine. So it's 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 a really cool movie. It's really fun to watch. Um, but it's going to be a time commitment if you want to watch it. 
Again, the name of the movie is Avayana. It's going to be Avane <laughs> Sriranam. Okay, let's try that again. Avane Sriranam Rayana. Avane Sriranam Rayana. No, no, Srimana Rayana. I'm Srimana Rayana. I, I, I can't say it anymore. Say it I'm three too, times fast. Too, too, too. There you go. Go. Srimana Rayana. Srimana Rayana. Srimana Rayana. Avane Srimana Rayana. There you go. Avane Srimana Rayana. That's even more. Avane Srimana Rayana. So, okay. I said it three um, times. So that's, that's all I got about that movie. I mean, we ended up talking about that movie longer than I thought we would because it was a lot to talk about. Um, it was just hard to really talk about the movie because it was so hard to follow for me in a lot of ways. Probably because of the dialogue and the plot line, the plot levels that kept changing for me. Um, but uh, they they kind of set it up for a sequel, though. Did you How? see that at the very end? No, I didn't. I didn't see it at the very very end. Who who was sitting? There... Who was? Who was sitting on the treasure chest in the, in the ruins of the fort at the end? Uh, I am guessing Hingatukrama. No, it was, Ur- was Narayana's Urgu? father. Huh? It was Narayana's father. How do we know it was his father? Because he said he was his father. Oh. Because <laughs> he said. I, I I didn't see the very very end. So anyway, I I, I didn't know there was going to be an ending scene. I I didn't know Bollywood did that. If you like Bollywood, if you like colorful musical numbers, if you like funny movies that are really interesting when you, when you give it a chance, I would I would recommend checking it out. So so would I just you, wish would I, you I, get I would you open, give it a rating? Nikki's eyes. Would you give it a rating? I would give this a solid eight out of ten. I w- I would watch it again. You know, it was very enjoyable. Here's here's my thing. I would probably give it an 8 out of 10 because it was a good movie. But I'll probably never watch it again cuz it was a bit of it was a bit of work for me to watch it. And it's 3 hours. Um I have a hard time doing anything for 15 minutes much less 3 hours. So, um So that's it. That's all I got. You got anything else? Nope. Okay. Then I guess, hey, let's roll for our next movie then. Let's do it. And then we'll get out of here and I'm going to go play Xbox. Okay. So. And I'm going to try and sober up. Good for you. Um, (laughs) So first we're going to roll. I'm just going to roll all all my dice. Including the one I dropped on the floor. What did you just drop? I'm going to roll all my dice minus the D100. Ah. Because we got to figure out. What service and what genre, and then I'll roll for the movie. Okay, so uh, I got a six, so that would be Amazon. So we're gonna watch a movie on Amazon. Amazon for the third week in a row. And then I got a six for the genre. Okay, which is musical. Oh God, we just watched the musical. And now we're gonna well, now we're gonna roll the Beast, the D one hundred. This thing. Man, this thing a is big like banger. It, it it's it's got to be like two pounds, and this is crazy. Okay. It's a big banger. So you can probably it. hear it on my mic when I drop it. <laughs> You're okay. denting your table. No, no, I Why rolled it. I rolled that? it in. I rolled it in my box. In my in my. In my the box is gonna break. My, then. my D and D box. So, um, and let me roll it again because I moved it when I rolled it. So, okay, and I rolled a fifty-one. Okay. So I'm going, to, I'm going to go try to find the, and that's going to be kind of hard to do. I'm going to try to find the 51st musical, 51st, 51st musical on Amazon. Now, there's probably not that many musicals. I'm probably going to just open it up to like musical type movies, not necessarily specifically musicals. So let this me go. This could take a while to look up then. So this I'm going to, I'm, so, to no, I mean, I've already pulled up stuff over here so i'm going to just switch over to the category and kind of open it up and search for it find the 50 for 51st movie in that category and we'll go from there so y'all just hold on one sec <laughs> this is gonna be fun because dang, you find that you found that fast. Well, I mean, I basically just scrolled up through the list of all the lists that I'd already pulled up a list and just hit search, and it gave me a list, and I just scrolled okay. through and counted. 
I've seen this movie. I was in the 10th grade, I think. Maybe 9th, depending on when it came out in 1984. God dang, that was 12 years before I was born. Yep. Breaking 2, Electric Boogaloo. Is that's that's where that term comes from? Breaking to Electric Boogaloo. Not even the original Breaking about break dancing, but the sequel, Electric Boogaloo. So, should, bring should, it on. Should. We're gonna watch a 1980 80s movie about break dancing called Electric Boogaloo. Oh gosh, you're gonna have fun oh. with this one. It is gonna be 80s cheesy. With 80s rap music and, and hip hop music and 80s so, break dancing. So, so, so all, so, all of these. So, vanilla ice. No, that's 90s. No, this is pre vanilla yeah. ice. Vanilla ice was probably a kid during this movie. No, this is pre vanilla ice. Biggie? I don't know, man. No, this is more. No, who's more 90s too? This is more 80s. This is like, no, no, early stuff like Run DMC and earlier than that. I I didn't know they had rap in the eighties. Thought thought they there thought you that go came out in the nineties. There you go. Um, so that just shows my age. Um. So yeah, we're gonna watch a movie. Called Everybody Ele- knows you're old, Dad. We're gonna watch a movie called Electric Boogaloo. You've got so, a stunk beard. So that's that's what we're watching next week, next Friday, which is September twenty fourth, right? Yep. And then the following Friday, October 1st, we're going to have a guest. <gasps> and we've talked about it. Dennis from, from Bosch is going to be our guest on That'll on, be awesome. On our the first podcast official guest. Or on the stream on um, Friday, October 1st. He's got a Kickstarter right now that he, op- that he, that he kicked off at DragonCon for his um, comic book that he's been working, that it's been his dream for 10 years. Um, it's called Lycan. Solomon's Odyssey, and it's about the world's first werewolf. Um, and so he started a Kickstarter at DragonCon, and it goes until October third. So we'll be we'll have him on like, like a final push right at the end of his of his Kickstarter campaign. Uh, it's already like seventy two percent filled already, so that's cool. Like that, real quick. Yeah. Like, uh, um, yes. Is um is it about the um is it about the origins of um of the first werewolf or, or or an actual first werewolf? I don't know. I haven't read it yet, so I don't know. Oh. But you it's got it's them. it's some historical stuff and it's some myth and folklore and all this kind of stuff. It's kind of combined. Now, here's the cool thing, folks, for folks that are listening to this and want to come and check us out on um, on Friday, October first. The book is done. You know, mostly a lot of times with these Kickstarter campaigns, you give your money to the Kickstarter campaign and the product hadn't even been made yet, so you have no idea if or when you're ever going to get it. The book's done. Okay, this is just the Kickstarter to help recoup some of the costs of printing. So, it will be out. Um, and if you decide to do the Kickstarter that's just the digital copy, you'll pretty much get the digital copy as soon as the Kickstarter campaign is over. Um, so, do that. Um, I've already supported it. I've already backed it. I'm getting the shirt. I'm getting the whole thing. So, I'm looking forward to it. Um, and hopefully, he'll be on with us for the whole podcast, and he'll watch the movie with us and do the geek question with us and everything. So, we'll have to come up with some really good stuff that week. So I, that's what we're going to do in two have, weeks. Have, have you <clears throat> talked to him about those details yet? Yeah, well, we've started having some conversations about that. So um, so that's what we're going to do in two weeks. But next week, we're going to watch Breaking 2, Electric Boogaloo. I'm so excited to go back to my teenage years of hey, early Dad. 80s rap Dad. and breakdancing. Yes, and parachute pants and leather Michael Jackson jackets and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Um. What's what's the one movie we who, we've always t- talked about about rewatching? Gora. Why um 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 why not for 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 our first guest we um we 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 rewatch and um and, and re-review it's that. A good movie. idea. I have to say I, I'll, I'll talk to him and see see if he wants to do that or if he wants to do like you know because it's because it's you know first week first Friday of, of October so it's Halloween if he wants to do a horror movie whatever he wants to do we'll kind of figure something out. So, we'll There's costumes in Gora. He he um he, so. he dressed up as Neo. Yeah, um he dressed up like a bunch of stuff. Freak so that's out. that's what that's what we're doing. <laughs> Freaking Turkish um, um mustachioed Neo. Yeah, there you go. 
Um, and the Turkish gangster rap in the closing credits. That's what I love. Oh yeah. So oh so see we got Bollywood and breakdancing TikToks. There we go. Hey, somebody's hey, got to work cut on a rug. You know I can cut a rug. Good, because I can. <laughs> okay, so we're done. Um, I need to. <laughs> I need to get another drink. <laughs> Excuse me. COVID, finishing it up here. Um. So I, I don't have anything else to say. I'm gonna get something else to drink. I'm gonna get back on here. The power at, of Christ compels you. I'm gonna leave get back, this vessel. I'm gonna get back on here at ten o'clock. I'm gonna do some game streaming with some friends of mine. I think so. I'll be back here at ten o'clock uh, in about thirty minutes, um, and we'll see you guys next time. So I don't have anything else to say. If you got anything else, any more parting shots? The power of Christ compels you. COVID, leave this vessel. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I I don't know where that came from. But anyway, so I guess we got nothing. So we're going to go. And we appreciate you guys stopping by. Everybody stopping by and saying, hey, um, if you hadn't and you're listening to it. Thanks, guys, really. It's it's been awesome. If you're listening to this on the audio podcast, we would love it if you guys would go to your your favorite podcast service, give us a review, um, preferably a good one. Um, Over there, helps us be seen more and get more people to come and hang out with us. So I I am not above begging. I will literally beg for views. Get on my knees and uh, and, um, and go full on folded hands and beg. So thanks for listening. And we'll see y'all next week on the Gene Phil Variety Hour. And always remember, stay nerdy, my friends. Uh, This cough won't go away. It just sneaks up on you. You just make what you're doing right now into a TikTok video. Yeah, I know. I know what I'm doing. I have no idea. What <laughs> Actually, what you, my TikTok video should be you dancing and me just really looking at you funny and reacting. That's about all I can do. Yeah. All right, guys. Y'all have a good night. Thanks for coming by. I figured you'd say bye. You always do the whole peace thing. I was I was waiting. Peace. Whatever. You're still here? It's over. Go home.